good morning hello it's another hearts to heart and this is also like the fifth time i filmed this because the other times i just couldn't talk to be focusing on just how bad is not liking your job i think sometimes we play down the cons of having a certain job because it's a lot of work to leave that specific work environment job and whatever it's just a lot of work to switch careers and your natural instinct is to try to stay in your comfort zone and not have to put in so much work to leave that environment and it's really uncomfortable and scary to leave your job but if it is the case that the cons of having a specific job and just staying with the status quo is like severely outweighing the pros i think it's pretty obvious that it's time to go time is really precious you can't get it back once it's used up it's done and you spend a lot of time working in your job so let's say you do have a nine to five so i'm going to do some math here i'll do it for you so you don't have to you know put in so much brain power 40 hours a week and assuming that two hours per day that you commute or you spend overtime something like that so it ends up being actually 50 hours a week and that's around 30 percent of the year 30% of the year is basically 100-ish days. Okay, I know this is very estimated. Just follow along. Let's say you work from your 20s all the way to your 60s, you retire. That's around 40 years, so 40 times 100 days is 4,000 days of your life. And how long is 4,000 days? It's actually 10 years of your life. I know there's so many people out there that get 10 years cut off of their life or wish they could get those 10 years back or would kill for those 10 years so just keep in mind that if you are hating your job you are going to be hating and not enjoying 10 years of your life suffering through 10 years of your life doing something that you're not wanting to do but i also want to note that these points might be more significant to other people depending on how much you dislike your job so if you just like kind of dislike it i think that's pretty normal to just be like yeah i'm getting paid to do this some days i wake up and i don't feel like it but there's another side where there's people that just like completely just don't enjoy getting up in the morning to go to work and just the entire experience is just not good so keeping that in mind and the next negative impact that a bad job can have is not only on you, but on other people, everybody's emotions, basically. So just imagine in your head that like grumpy old man for no reason, just has a bad attitude, gives bad service, and you're just like, why? Like, I didn't even do anything to you, and it kind of just ruins your mood. That is the epitome of what I'm trying to say right now. Not only is that old man's mood ruined because he doesn't like his job and he's like oh this is all there is to life but it also ruins the moods of all the customers the family members the friends that he interacts with because he's just not stinking happy and he's kind of projecting that negativity on other people and that just ends up spreading out and becoming a way bigger negative thing than it should have been also having a job you don't really like actually costs you a lot more money than you think. You're actually paying more than you would out of your pocket if you liked your job. If you like your job, you're not going to spend that much money or time trying to escape reality and that negative part of your life. But if you don't like your job, you might be spending more money on entertainment, like partying, drinking, whatnot, to kind of make yourself feel fulfilled for the time being and to kind of put a band-aid on the problem. In reality, you're actually getting a lot more money drawn out of your pockets for something you don't like doing. And lastly, another consideration that a lot of people don't consider is the types of people that you're surrounding yourself with. So I don't know if you guys have heard the saying, but you are most similar or you are made up of the five closest people that you spend your time with. So you spend a significant amount of time with your coworkers and your coworkers' mindsets and the way that they approach their life and behaviors are going to severely affect you whether or not you notice it 
they have impact on who you become and how much you can grow and how you see your future. So if you're surrounding yourself with people in corporate America that are very subservient to the entire system, it is more likely that you are going to stay in that system and be comfortable within that system because that's the kinds of people you're surrounding yourself with. It's not likely that you're going to leave and try to make yourself a better person, give yourself a better opportunity, because everyone's kind of just sticking to the status quo and that's all you've been seeing. Those are some key things that I've thought about and I've personally experienced. Also things that I didn't expect. I assumed that just having a bad job was just gonna be like, I'm just kind of not gonna be happy. It's fine, like I can deal with it. And then after work, I'll just, you know, really enjoy my life and make the most out of it and have passions and blah, blah, blah. And actually it ended up being a lot more impactful and I, it's just been so difficult for me to draw a barrier between my work life and my work mindset and outside of life. It spills in naturally. It's hard to kind of block yourself out from that. Yeah, these are just things that I noticed and I wish that someone had told me, but now that I've experienced it, I know and I want to pass this information forward to anybody else that might be in a similar situation or just to like knock some people in their heads and get some people onto their feet and let them know that, hey, you should reevaluate your situation and you might be one of the lucky ones that are loving their job or just like their job and if that's the case then that is so amazing but i hope that throughout your life ever so often you think about this video and just check in with yourself and say are the pros outweighing the cons still or if the cons are outweighing the pros now should this be the time i leave but anyways don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell i really appreciate all the support and all the kind comments bye and told me that I'm selfish Told me there is little I can do to it